If you've ever made merch about anybody or merch about your Oshi, this is the craziest thing that could ever happen to you. Let's get into it. So here we have Brie, who also goes by the handle of Bunny Sleepover. So as we can see by Brie's pinned tweet, it reads, you'll never guess who my Oshi is, featuring this super, super, super cute Hawaiian button down shirt with that is mint green with these little cheapy cats on it. And we have a mint green shirt with, I wonder who that is on the front. These are absolutely adorable, by the way. So in the heart of a fun giveaway, Brie made this tweet reading, I'm giving away one of my mint shirts. Any size ends today. Rules below. Hashtag Fantography and some Japanese hashtags. I'm sorry. I can't read Japanese. I read Chinese. And it writes, I love my fellow wisps. And here we have Brie modeling one of the mint shirts and it looks super cute. Also, by the way, can we mention just the Croc stickers dead? This looks so cute, by the way. I love an oversized look. This is absolutely adorable. And here is a photo again of Brie holding up the shirt. So the rules to enter reads, to enter, please follow, retweet, and like. You can gain an additional entry if you've previously ordered with me. Just reply with your order number and what date you placed your order. By the way, shirts are open until tonight as well. Ends at 11 p.m. EST today. I ended up extending the pre-order by a day since I decided to order more shirts than I originally planned. Because of this, I need more time to negotiate and figure out logistics with my manufacturer. I'm so grateful for all the love on this Hawaiian shirt and my art. I forgot to mention, but USA only, unless you're okay with paying for shipping. I'm sorry, I'm a poor wisp that's in the middle of moving and wasting money on apartment applications that I keep getting denied from. Oh my god, don't even get started on applications for apartments. Why is it like 40 to to $100 to apply? Just for them to give me the middle finger. It's, it's like a money printing scam for these companies. Anyways, Brie writes, extended to 12 p.m. today since I fell asleep. But also dot dot, y'all should order one, haha. And then, oh my god, look at this quote retweet Brie drops. It reads, uh, at Mint Phantom, I'm not pronouncing that correctly. And it is a photo of the the winner draw and the winner is knit themselves the Oshi that the shirt was designed after, the VTuber in the flesh mints. That is actually too funny. What are the odds that you host a giveaway for merch that you as a fan made of your favorite VTuber and the favorite VTuber is the one that wins? Like statistically, what are the odds? Because not only does that VTuber have to enter, but then that VTuber also has to win the giveaway as well. Brie adds, so technically Mint isn't following me, which means she's disqualified. Parentheses, however, Mint just DM me if you want one. I'm more than happy to ship anything out. So time to reroll. Dude, I'm screaming, bro, what even? To anybody that didn't win but still wanted to get a shirt, thank you. And Bunny adds their big cartel link, which we can check over here. They have keychains and phone grips, apparels, miscellaneous, stickers and buttons. That was not what I was expecting. So you can see over here, they have the Mint Phantom Hawaiian shirt, which runs up to a size 5XL. It runs for $60 and oh, we love the amazing size selection here. They also ask you to specify if you are getting the item shipped for a specific event like Anime NYC to leave it in the notes. And if not, it will arrive in late October and ship out shortly after that. And that they cannot ship from the UK if you order from their big cartel, but they can ship to you if you order off their Etsy. And that this is men's sizing. But going into what the commenters say, Kumo Gorogoro writes, LOL, no way. Marie adds, I just stared at my screen in disbelief because what, what, what? And then Made Mint adds, la, 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 rolling face on the keyboard. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Please pick somebody else. Brie says, I already did, no worries, heart. However, please let me know if you'd like one. It was a funny start to my morning. And then Brie adds, if any VTuber news channel report on this for some reason, can you please show off the mint Hawaiian shirts and mention orders are open? I work very hard on it. Yep, we just took a look at that. So if you like what you see, you can get one on their big cartel. I also have a link down below too. And then Tortellini Time writes, this is the funniest effing outcome. Brie says, worst outcome because mint isn't following me. Parentheses, I send her 20 if she asked though. Close parentheses. Also, why did I get an ad for a hundred dollar toilet paper? And we can confirm that this was actually not a mistake because if you go to Mint's Twitter page and we scroll down do, 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 do. so you can see here that Mint actually retweeted Bree's tweet showcasing the merch and the Hawaiian shirts so this was most definitely not an accident because this definitely was on Mint's radar and they knew that this was a giveaway I completely understand why Mint wouldn't want to win the giveaway you know what I mean because they would want somebody else to win and they just retweeted for the sake of promoting people that are making their merch. Uh, I just think it's so funny. I mean, hey, at this point, you might as well full commit, get somebody to draw this as a shirt that your VTuber model can wear. That would be so funny. I would absolutely love to see it, but I do know it's obviously like an extra cost, etc. But yeah, I have a
have a feeling Mint was just retweeting this to support and then accidentally entered the giveaway as part of the process and then accidentally won? That is too funny. But I love these wholesome stories. These honestly really warm my heart. So absolutely love that. If you like what you saw, you like the Hawaiian shirt or the regular t-shirt or any of the other merch that Brie has made, I will have their big cartel linked down below so you can check it out for themselves. And I will also link Mint down below as well so you can go and check them out if they seem really cool to you. I am a big fan of Mint, especially Mint Chocolate Chip. So I absolutely love their character design. Anyways, what are your thoughts on all of this happening? So I bleached my hair, bleach, 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 bleach. And then my entire head ended up this like, what I would call a beige blonde. It was too blonde for my liking. So I decided to use the magical thing called color theory. This is called a color wheel. What we care about this ring, okay, is if you have the color yellow, as in I was blonde, and then you apply blue to this yellow, the blue will neutralize this yellow and it will end up a very, very grayish, cool tone platinum color because the blue will neutralize the yellow. So me being the giga smart person that I am decided, hey man, I am going to apply blue to my hair so that I can tone out the blonde. I've done this before. It works beautifully. So then I go on Arctic Fox. I bought some blue dye. You know, I'm waiting for it to arrive. It arrives. I get this blue dye, go into the bathroom, unscrew the blue dye, bloop, 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 start dumping it on my head. And then I realized this is where I majorly effed up in which I bought teal dye. This is the blue that I wanted to buy. This dark, dark, like, you know, blue, 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 very blue. I ended up with some like teal color. And as you can see here, teal is across from red on the color wheel. So um, it's not doing a good job of neutralizing the yellow. I was too committed now because I had a big dollop of teal dye sitting on top of my head like this that I started like applying it to my hair. I was like, okay, so if I just like quickly apply the teal, I can wash it out in the shower and then it will cancel out and then we'll be all good. I'll still end up with gray. I was trying to be as fast as possible. I applied the teal from my roots all the way down to the ends of my hair. I go into the shower, I wash it, and I wash it, and I wash it, and I wash it, and I'm just bleeding teal like no tomorrow. It is coming out, and it is staining the floor. I get out of the shower, and I see myself in a mirror, hor like jump scared, horrified at what's staring back at me. Because instead of, you know, a girl with perfectly steel gray. I had this freaking Smurf abomination on my head staring back at me. And that was not what I was aiming for. So then, because this is not the color that I wanted, nor did I think it would be this vivid, I thought that because I washed it out, it would, you know, fade a little bit. Uh, I have then resorted to hoping that it washes out quickly. I've been, I have washed my hair now about four to five times since I've dyed it. It is still just as teal as I first dyed it. I'm getting a little bit concerned now. So yeah, that is how I ended up with teal hair on accident, okay? I did not mean to go teal. It do be like that. Sometimes you make mistakes and sometimes your mistakes end up in teal hair. If you like this video, I would appreciate it. If you'd like to subscribe, don't forget to check me out on Twitch. I stream three days a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, Saturdays at 6 p.m. PST. And guys, we are gunning for 100K because as of filming, we hit 82K on YouTube. Thank you so much, guys. I really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope to catch you guys in another one of my videos. Bye.